Hi guys, Dustin Van Fleet from Dustin Van Fleet Design down here in Valdosta, Georgia. We're, we're still chilly, but a little bit nicer than we were yesterday. Uh, at least it's not raining and we're beginning to clear up. And I think we're, what, a couple degrees over 50 today. So <laughs> um, we're gonna hang tight for a couple minutes so that some people can get on. Do we have people coming on, John? Let us know where you're from. We'd love to know. And today, we're gonna to be working with a wine box that I custom painted, French. And I'm kinda of over it. It's been a little while, so kinda of over it. But it's kinda of cool, it's all pretty. It opens up, great storage. Really cute little box, but just a little bit over it. I want something a little bit more colorful and dramatic, but this was really pretty and did its thing. We're going to be working with Peace Print right here and showing you what they are because you guys have asked me on numerous occasions. What are peace prints? Can you please show us? Yada, yada, yada. Say yes. We're going to be talking about my new collection that I have with peace prints. But that's not the only thing going on with peace prints because peace prints also has pieces that are not mine. So you have a choice when you go over there. You can get my pieces in which I'm showing you basically how to get these looks of the polka dots, the checkerboard, Harlequin, uh, Eiffel Tower, you name it. But this took me a couple hours because I had to let everything dry and send it. Peace prints and my new collection that's coming out can give you this look. And we're going to be playing with some gilding wax that I picked up from my Dixie Bell collection. I'm a Dixie Bell retailer, you guys all know. But today we're going to be playing with Anastasia, which is red, which as you see, will really go well with this piece print right here with all the red and turquoise teal which again will fade nicely into that and we're going to show you how thin these things are and how easy they are to blend so first things first and i'll show you what i already did you guys don't need to see me use an exacto knife and all that on film so what i did personally I made it a little bit easier on myself and I put the piece print down here. I put my box on it. The piece print at that point in time was larger than my box. So I came and I used my X-Acto or my Circuit and I came and I trimmed out the big overlay part after I had it straight because it gets a little bit annoying that three or four inches like peeling back on you. So I just wanted to get that portion done and out of there. Then when I came back and put it on here, I had a little bit left over. So I just took my straight edge on a cutting board right here that we've got down here. And I just took off like a centimeter. Then it turned out perfect because as you see, my piece print now fits perfectly. And all we had to do was take a little bit of her feet off, but that's not really messing with the picture. You get the essence of the picture. So what you'll need before you even start with the piece print is get yourself a cutting board out. Get yourself a circuit or an X-Acto and get yourself a metal straight edge. Now this and this from Walmart today cost what ten dollars total i think so no biggie on that front it's not like you have to have a thousand dollars worth of products in order to do this now interesting scenario guys i have never ever done one of these in my entire life so i'm a little bit nervous i've been painting since like 2000 then all of a sudden i have it pre-cut I have in my mind the way it's gonna be, but then I have in my mind like that I'm in front of all of you and it starts like doing all this crazy stuff and I screw it all up. So, okay, <laughs> we're gonna pray 
that that doesn't happen. But I've watched Steve's video, Steve, Ashley, and Deb, that basically guided me through the process. Does not look really, really difficult to do. So I want to leave my sides. I love my polka dots that I have on here and all that good stuff. But I want to change the top. And this is very interesting because we have released an Eiffel Tower very similar to this, except for it's in red. If I had it right now, I could just throw it on, but I don't. Plus, I like this Deco Woman a lot. So, I'm going to do that. Initially, I had put the print on this way, but if I want to stand the box up, I can't really. So, I'm going to switch it to putting the print on this way so that in my house, if I want it to stand up, the woman's looking at me and she's not upside down type of thing. Okay. And these piece prints are super, super thin, guys. Like, really super thin. Um, I don't know if I want to start. This is the part that I'm like scared of because I've never done it. Not like anything bad is gonna happen, but it's folding against me is the problem. So, need to straighten it out just a tad bit. And I know Steve had said pull like an inch inch and a half up. First time ever, guys. Okay, Ashley's saying pull back. I'll even make the paper full so you can pull. Which I think you're doing. As you see, this is not like Prima. That's what's awesome about this. And that you can make a mistake. Lift up, guys. And continue on. So I saw Ashley do this and she goes down to the middle. Not doing too much at one time. And press middle out. Steve's got this awesome technology to get all the bubbles out of here and everything. So we're gonna go middle. I can't use this backer stuff. I absolutely hate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to do it the way Dustin does it. I don't like the backer stuff at all. It causes me grief. Look at how you can keep placing this guy. Look at how I didn't get it right the first time. And look at how I'm still kind of playing with it a little bit. But look at how it's repositioned. But this is what I love. We don't all get it right on the first try. And you know, you guys know I've been doing this a long time. And I didn't get it perfect on my first try. 
this stuff is making me look like a total pro. And I've never <laughs> even done this before. Oh my god. And notice, guys, I didn't freak out. I didn't panic because it didn't happen the way that it needed to immediately at that moment in time. I mean, before this blows away, let me grab this piece of trash. Now on this one, guys, we are using a deco print, and we're gonna make sure that it's all down perfect, which it is. Look at how it like seals down on here. We're using a real gloss print. Now this looks like I did something. This is actually, the wood is imperfect on the other side of the wine box, and it did it to it. But I mean, this is pretty much perfect. I had no clue guys like never did this before did not follow instructions totally screwed it up ripped the whole thing off and um hello i look like a hero and a pro <laughs> ashley is at home like saying no dust and you're doing it wrong deb and steve are like my god what is he doing <laughs> when I ripped it off. but i mean this is like perfect guys i mean look at this this was like a boring little box. I mean, look at what Peace Prince has done. This is gloss. We're also gonna have matte. This is a stunning gloss. I think gloss on a deco piece like this is gorgeous. So we've got these down. It's all down everywhere. I mean, check it out, guys. Look how thin it is. We have no bubbles, none. But then we're gonna play. We're gonna take some Dixie Belle turquoise teal, if I can ever get it open. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Ooh. And then because these are so small, these piece prints, or I should say not really small, what am I trying to say? So thin. Thin, yes. Yeah. It's gonna be so easy to take some of that. Play around my edge a little bit. Ashley had done a gorgeous piece, guys. If you haven't seen it, it's on Designs, a piece prints page. Um, she did a gorgeous steampunk piece and she used our Dixie Bell gilding waxes, and it's absolutely stunning, the piece. But I mean, look how simple this is, and you have no clue that the box wasn't always light. So you want a little bit more with this Dixie Bell? More punch? Go over it again, the whole thing. Does not take much. A little goes a long way. Guys, these are highly, highly, um, I'm trying to think of how to say this properly. These are not things that you just take to somebody and have printed. This is a $35,000 printer, guys. I mean, these things take a day to cure. Like, you don't get this look just by going to some local, local, like, printing shop or something. You're not gonna get this look. But we're not done. Although this is pretty, I am seeing some Anastasia, which actually I'm really excited about, guys, because I've never used it in my entire life. Isn't this red stunning? I have Anastasia because I sell the Dixie Bell, and people have purchased it from me, but I've never actually used the Anastasia. So we're gonna play a little bit here. And because it's never been you, we're gonna have to get the initial layer off the top of it. It dries a little bit. There we go. Now we're just gonna mix a little bit of Anastasia in. It's not gonna show up a whole, whole lot which I don't want it to be overpowering. But 
but it will show up in that. Now these piece prints also take guys uh, wax. You can wax over them, which is super, super cool in my book. So we've got a couple of these on here, but it's kind of like not dusting yet because as we all know, I had no intention of busting them out, but it's not dusting unless it has some gold, silver, and black on it as well. <laughs> So these are super, super simple. I mean, did you guys see like how easy that was? It could have been disastrous. It was not disastrous. It was super, super cool. It showed you that you can make a mistake and still come out with a perfect product. Cause that is not what they told me to do while applying. So I'm just gonna age it up a little bit. With a little bit of black. And I'm leaving some smeared onto the piece print as well. I think it looks cool. And fun. We're kind of aging the edges a little bit. So we got our black on there. You can use your finger. You can use one of these stencil pouncing brushes for the silver. We have a question. Yeah. If you were to wax over them, would you use the clear wax first so that you can correct a mistake like you do with the... I don't think you're going to have to paint. because this is not chalk paint and it's not porous like chalk paint is, so it's not gonna drink your wax the way that Dixie Bell would. Dixie Bell is gonna drink your wax, and if you don't put the silver on, you're gonna be in a world of hurt type of thing and wish that you had. This is not porous, so it's not just gonna hold you. You're gonna be able to wipe it off if you want to. Then of course, the gold. We gotta add some gold. It's crucial. No, I mean like, where could you do, and I'm just saying for real, home decor this fast and simple, guys? Like, I mean, we literally took something in like 10 seconds. Well, it seems like 10 seconds, but really hasn't been. Okay. And we can also come through here. We can be like, mm, need a little bit more of my jam up in here. Y'all know the smank with all these polka dots on here. Like, it can't be anybody else but me. <laughs> Which I'm also offering the polka dots in my new collection that I have with piece prints. I've also put the website on there, www.peaceprints.com. You can get any of the Dixie Bell products that I'm using from my website, www dustinvanfleetdesign.com on the piece prints page when you go in you're going to look under Dustin's collection if you want to see my really fun whimsical collection they've also got a French collection and a couple other collections that you can I would look at all of them because they're all cool I will have more coming out today tomorrow the next day piece prints will have more coming out today tomorrow the next day my friend Ashley who approached me about this whole thing she will have her own collection coming out in the near future but i mean come on five seconds ago we had boring like 20 minutes later we've got a piece print 
and he's on here with no bobbles. Now this is gloss. We also will have matte available. But I mean, this thing is down. And when he said like, no bobbles, I mean, you can go as close as you want to this guy. There's no bobbles. Gloss doesn't lie. Anything that's in here that's imperfect is because it's a wine crate with cheap wood and the wood is not the most expensive in the world. But this thing doesn't have one error in it. I had to cut off to get her to fit a little bit of her feet and everything. But I think <laughs> it's so cool that you don't really even notice it. But I know Steve will notice it because he printed them and takes pride in them. <laughs> so I had to adjust her just a little bit. But I think she's stunning. Do you guys like her? Do you guys get the whole piece print revolution that I'm telling you about? I mean, these are transfers that you can get whatever you want, guys. Like, I mean, if you have a picture of your kids and you want to put it on here, send it. You can get it. Our collection that we just carry, that we own the rights to, is growing every single day. Um, Deb and Steve work very hard. I mean, the printer, like I said, this is not something that you're going to go down to your local print shop and get. I'm not kidding when I tell you, it's like a $30,000, 35000 printer. These things are not, they take a day to cure because they're so intense. Look at the intensity of that color and everything. He can't just print this off and send it to you same day. This one's gloss. They can all be purchased in matte as well because sometimes we want gloss like I do on this, glam. Sometimes we don't, but like let's look at the edging here. I mean, look at that. That's in there. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that's not popping up. That's in there, in there, guys. Are you loving my new box that I created, guys? Any questions? You guys have wanted me to use this product for quite some time and I know I pull it out of the rabbit hat at like the last second and all but that's because I found this box and I was like you know what this would be perfect to use a piece print on and it really is and it's really that simple like what I showed you you really can mess up <laughs> and then not mess up. So we will go over the process one more time. It's not our longest live because it, it doesn't need one. to be. <laughs> that's what's so awesome about these products, guys. Like, that's what I was showing you today. Simplistic. Like, it doesn't take two hours to make this happen and everything. So initially we have our piece print, which is on our backing paper. We've got our box. We take our piece print. We use our X-Acto knife and we either draw out around the box or go around the box like I did. Like I put it down here, set the piece print down, set the box down, went around it. Then I just took like a centimeter off with my straight razor. So the prep time for this was approximately 10 minutes at max, cutting it out, making it all perfect. You peel the backing back. What? We've got a question. What did you clean your piece with first? I tend to use Dixie Bell's White Lightning on everything. I mean, it's the perfect thing. You get a container of White Lightning and it's going to last you for like over a year. So, I mean, it's like the best $9.95 that you could ever spend. It's a container that you get with powder in it. You mix it with water and it can be the most disgusting piece to a piece that really doesn't have that much wrong with it. And it really takes all the grime and grease off. So I prepared it with white lightning and then I lightly sand it over with a little hand sander that you can buy from any hardware store. When you begin, you take your piece print back about an inch and a half, apply, and just keep going down, applying pressure to the center and pushing outward. This has a patented system again. This is not like some cheapy. You guys can't screw this up just like I didn't because the backing has an intricate grid system that allows you, you can't see it, but it allows you when you push out for all the air to escape. So it's got 
basically a foolproof and dummy proof system and that's why it made me look good so <laughs> so um you're gonna apply pressure to the center as you go and then smooth outward apply some pressure smooth outward because it has this grid system if there are little air pockets they go out and as you see there are no air pockets there are no lifting corners there are no issues at all after that start playing with your dixie bell paint wax or in this case gilding wax just to like play with the edges and kind of blend it in it's super super fun no reason why it shouldn't be done so all you need really is to order a piece print from us but i always say when you order one you should order like three because if you're gonna pay 9.95 shipping guys like you may as well get like three or four instead of just one <laughs> that's my thing but if you just want one totally cool get your piece print we all have an exacto knife laying around or one of these circuit knives and you want a metal straight edge. Not really a wood, a metal is better. So eh, $11 in supplies, whatever you have laying around the house of Dixie Bell paint, wax, or gilding wax. And I wonder if I should like play a little bit and just see. Oh, let's play for a second, hold on. Let me just see something real quick. This is some Dixie Belt Black Best Dang Wax. So I'm just gonna play for one second and let me see if I can get some really like aged up corner. Oh yeah, it's really cool because it's not super dark, but on the same token, you can tell it's there. So when Deb and them told me, Deb and Steve told me that it takes wax, I didn't think it would take wax this well. That's super, super awesome. So we can age out some corners here. Make it look super old. Yeah, I'm kind of loving this, guys. Because you kind of think in your mind, like, how in the heck can a piece with a gloss actually take wax and give you like a really cool shading, but yet somehow it does. So I don't really know <laughs> how. All that I know is it's doing exactly what I want it to do. And let's make the corners look even older. You just keep playing with these guys. I mean, there is no being done if you don't want to be type thing but we totally aged it down now on the corner because I want them to look super old because this is like almost like a 1920s postcard so Dixie Bell Wax is 100% compatible with this I always like to try things people tell me but I have to like see it with my own eyes so we've aged her up around the corner. It's not an intense look, because we don't want an intense look, but it's kind of like that rounded corner, like old postcard look type thing. Again, this thing's down. You can look at it. Like bubbles would show, guys. There are no bubbles. This is pretty incredible technology that you need a metal straight edge, an X-Acto or a circuit and Dixie Bell paint or wax of your choice. So do we have any questions? Because this live ended pretty quickly because that's how easy the product is to use. And that was my whole point of going on here. We have taken something that 28 minutes ago looked completely different. We're finished. We could set this in our house and have people ooh and awe over it, which is what I plan to do after this live is over. It's going straight in our guest bathroom and going to be rocked in the bathroom. <laughs> so, and if it's good enough for me, those of you who follow my page and know that I'm like pretty picky on design, then it's good enough for anybody because this is cool. I thought like maybe we'd have lifting problems or anything. I mean, Steve's technology 
is rad on these things. The print is awesome. The brightness of it, the color, the antiqueness of the print, even though it's brand new. And the fact, the thing that like really sold me, they came to me, they asked me if I was interested. I was like, I'll try it guys. But when I actually had to do the project, a lot of times you have to buy like $40 worth of stuff to complete a project. I spent $11 on these two items at Walmart. Super, super simple guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for spending part of your Saturday with me. Thank you guys for learning how to do piece prints with me because it was your first time seeing. It's my first time doing ever. So I've never done one of these in my entire life and I look like a pro <laughs> on this. So thank you Steve, Deb, and Ashley for getting me with this company. Check out my new uh line it's got polka dot backgrounds checkerboard backgrounds stripe background heavenly harlequin background zebra backgrounds we've got floor de lis and eiffel towers and just all kinds of like really really cool stuff uh, stuff that really is indicative of me and my style um so why would you want to spend two and a half hours painting all this up when you could just spend $39.95, buy the background collection, have it done in under 30 minutes like I did and start embellishing and having fun with your project. Thanks guys, I'll catch you on the flip side.